There is a story about a wise minister who would always say, everything happens for the best, even when bad things happen. He said the same when his king accidentally chopped off a finger. The infuriated king threw him in jail. Later, the king, while on a hunting expedition, was captured by a group of cannibals. He was about to be sacrificed when it was noticed that a finger was missing. Being imperfect, he was let off. On returning to his palace, the king rushed to the minister and embraced him, exclaiming, everything does indeed happen for the rest. Sometimes events happen that alter the very fabric of our lives. Nobody knows why. But there are two ways to deal with it. To succumb to fate or to fight back and overcome it. This is a feature of the thousands of brave parents and children who have fought courageously and have reclaimed their lives from the brink of defeat. A little twist of fate is all it takes for a baby to be born with mental retardation. The sad truth is that this can be prevented almost entirely if proper precautions are taken. But for the children who are already born with a defect, all is not lost. In fact, a whole new way of life lies open for both the child and the parent. All they need to do is to take this journey to self-discovery. Madhuram Narayanan Center for Exceptional Children was established in 1989 as a research come demonstration center in providing early intervention to children with developmental delays and mental retardation in the age group birth to six years. The center is a sequel to a systematic program Upanayan for such children which was developed indigenously with an interdisciplinary team of experts. The center has helped over 3,700 children with special needs till date, who now live a life of dignity. In a day, nearly a hundred children, along with parents, caretakers, attend the training program at the center. With the steady progress that Madhuram Narayan Center has made, we thought of extending our services beyond the program per se to include the other aspects of the child's needs. Sankarshana was one where we brought in the children who were who had dropped out back to the fold. Sanmargam where we moved ahead and placed the children in mainstream schools. Annapurna where we looked at the nutrition status of the mother and child. And we had the birthday program, the celebration. Project Annapurna Based on a study conducted by MNC, it was discovered that proper nutrition to the underprivileged children could go a long way in augmenting their development. The project Annapurna was conceptualized with the objective of identifying nutritional deficiencies in children with multiple handicap at the center and support the child and its family through a systematic nutritional management program developed at the center. Beneficiaries of this program comprise children coming from backgrounds with severe economic constraints and complexity arising from the condition of disability in the child. More than 175 children have been assessed and given a balanced diet to overcome their dietary deficiencies. Dietary counseling is also given to the parents on the diet pattern and proper position to be maintained while feeding their child. The progress of 40 children has been reviewed. 
Children are also provided with a nutritious health drink, Kanji, prepared at the center, along with certain specific medical assistance when prescribed by experts. Regular house visits are carried out to ensure that the program is followed correctly. Some children who come to the center often discontinue the training due to reasons such as poverty, birth of the next child, illness of mother and child, and difficulty in transportation. The project Sankarshana was conceptualized to reach out to such children by counseling the parents and families and trying to devise alternative management programs for them. The experts conduct house visits from the list of children with long absence from the program at the center, trying to identify the reasons for irregularity. Parents are periodically invited to the center to participate in various activities of the center as well as for informative, interactive sessions with various experts from different disciplines. The activities of Sankarshana converge to the ideology of the center that every child with disability should receive intervention and training. Birthday Project Birthdays are no longer dull and drab events restricted to distributing chocolates and wearing new dress. People innovate newer and expensive ways to celebrate. But at MNC, birthdays are beautiful occasions for the children to bond with normal children and can be therapeutic too. This project provides an opportunity for the good-hearted to celebrate their children's birthday with the children of MNC. Project Sanmargam After early intervention, the next step is the school program. Although there are many schools that cater to the needs of children with special needs, it still remains a special school. The ultimate aim of every parent who has a special child is to place their child in mainstream society. The project Sanmargam, or the Good Path, was thus formally started two years ago with the objective of preparing children to cope with the demands of mainstream schools and track their progress through the school years. Twelve students have been placed in various schools in Chennai. Children have been observed to have benefited from the peer group interaction and are more confident in managing themselves in the mainstream environment. The objective of Sanmargam is not just academic mainstreaming but creating acceptance of the child with disability in the society at large. Activities under this project involve training the children at MNC, counseling parents in coping with the expectations from mainstream schools, to create awareness among mainstream teachers, and support them in managing a child with special needs in a regular classroom. Many of us would wonder, why do these children need to go through so much difficulty from such an early age? But after spending even just a few moments with them, it's hard not to experience the miracle of love that weaves such a tapestry of joy among them. Children from rich and poor families, from the north and south, east and west, all of them coming together to help each other. The wise minister was indeed right. Everything does happen for the best. <laughs>